All right, partnerships. Now, a general partnership is an association of two or more people for the purpose of jointly conducting business. Each general partner is responsible for all debts incurred in conducting the business. Basically, each partner is responsible for all the debt, including the other persons. Each has the power to bind the other in transactions and each is entitled to receive a share of the profits. Now, a general partnership is created by a contract and it can be written, oral, or implied by the conducts. If you're not careful, you could accidentally create a partnership. Real estate brokerage general partnerships. Now, brokers may choose to form a general partnership. Requirements regarding real estate brokerage partnerships include the following. Of course, the partnership has to register with, you'd never guess it, the DBPR under the partnership's name. Now, if it's going to be a brokerage, at least one of the partners, of course, has to be a broker, right? Any of the partners who are dealing with the public and performing services of real estate must be registered as a broker, period. Now, sales associates and broker associates obviously may not be partners in a real estate brokerage because you have to be a broker to be on the boss level, which is the partner. Now, any change in the composition of a partnership must be reported to the DBPR. If the partnership has only one active broker, and that broker dies, resigns, or is removed from office. That broker needs to be replaced within 14 calendar days. No new brokerage business may be conducted by the partnership or by a licensee registered with the partnership until a new active broker is identified and registered under the partnership. However, business that was already in the works like a listing that wasn't closed or something that was almost closed may continue, but only up until those 14 days is reached. Failure to timely appoint another active broker will result in the automatic cancellation of the partnership's registration and the licenses of all of the sales associates working in that brokerage will become automatically involuntary and active because they don't have a active broker anymore do they so it is the responsibility of every active broker in a brokerage partnership to see to it that the partnership and all of its partners and associates have current active registrations and licenses <laughs> <laughs>